guys. So today I have a treat for us. I, um, with all of the stuff going on in the mortgage industry and interest rates and markets, I thought it would be a good idea to meet with a mortgage expert. So I have Doug Fouts here with me and we are going to, with Guaranteed Rate Affinity, and we're going to talk about, he's going to talk about uh, markets and what the rates are doing. So ago, and sure enough, the Fed is going to increase the federal funds rate by a quarter percent, as most were projecting. The other two important things he said is that for the rest of the year, the Fed is likely going to continue to increase the federal funds rate again by a quarter percent for the next six Fed meetings that are going to happen this year. So maybe by some, a little bit more than expected, but uh, again, a lot of that is, is kind of considered to be in the market and out there. The other thing that he mentioned that they are going to work on the balance sheet and they're trying to, to bring that down a little bit. And so there'll be some continuing tapering of the purchase of mortgage-backed securities. Well, that can be a negative to interest rates as well, or mortgage rates especially, as bonds really like it when money flows into the bond market. So when it comes out, the Fed's been purchasing bonds, that's gonna slow down a little bit. That can be another negative for, for interest rates, for long-term rates like mortgages. So at the end of the day, short-term, the news is not fantastic because I do think the trend of higher rates is going to continue here short term as opposed to, to lower rates. There will be some ebb and flows each day, but again, the trend will be continue to be higher. indicator that's out there that may give us a little bit of relief, and it has to do with the, the yield spread between the 10-year T-bill and the 2-year T-bill. And as those shorter term uh, yields begin to get closer to the 10-year, historically that has proven to be an indicator of a recession. Well, that sounds like a scary word, but for the real estate world, typically during a recession, uh, home prices have really held uh, over time. And the other thing that can do is actually bring down mortgage rates. So maybe not good news for all, but something to look for on the horizon.